Hello everyone, my name is Evan Jacobs and welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. We've got what I think is going to be a very good, um, you know, lightweight, light, light heavyweight bout. Um, it, it, it happens, I want to say, on March 9th between Dimitri Bivol and Joe Smith Jr. And let's just get right to it. Bivol is uh, 28. Smith is Smith is 29. Uh, they're they're both the same height. They're both six feet tall, 175. Uh, uh, they're they're reach 72, 71. Bivol has 15 fights, no losses. He came up quick on the fast track. Joe Smith came up hard. 24 and 2 and I mean you know they both came up hard to you know to a uh, degree so um this is a 12 round fight three minute rounds 10 point must scoring system no mandatory eight count three knockdown rule rule wave and um we're just gonna just get right get right to this now I'm just preparing my google on my phone to be able to commentate on this and so they're coming out, and you know, last time, I, I think it was the last time I did a Dimitri Bivol battle against Sullivan Barrera, Bivol didn't show up, and Barrera beat him, which obviously wasn't what happened. Um, Bivol stopped Sullivan Barrera in the 12th round when they when they actually fought. And, you know, I, 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 I want to right now thank all the people that have recently signed up. I want to thank all the people that have been leaving comments. Um, it's crazy, because people think... Or at least I think people think, I think, oh man, this is it. I, I'm setting this up or I'm typing. You don't hear any clicking. If I was typing, you would be hearing clicking. Um, like, I don't, I don't do that. I put this on a simulator and I sit back and I commentate. Basically why I do that is I can do, you know, a talking head piece about who I think is going to win. But what's the point of doing that when we can actually watch a simulation of the fight and I can talk about it. We can dialogue back and forth. You guys can tell me what fights you want to see. You guys can tell me what I got right and what I got and what I got wrong. And, you know, we can go from we can go from there. And, you know, that's that's that, you know, I, I get a lot of people. But the thing is, I love it. I love that people care. I love the passion. And, and, and just know that there's never any bias with this. And, you know, right now, I think Joe Smith is out punching Dimitri Bivol. I think he's taking the fight to him. I think, you know, there's something about Bivol on this old 80s video game. He starts slow, whereas in real life, Bivol is, I call him an assassin. He comes out and he starts doing things. And once he finds your weakness, he just keeps pressing and pressing and pressing. Um, so Bivol, he is fighting Joe Smith Jr. on, on March 9th. And uh, it should be a really, really good fight. Right now, you have Bivol trying to uh, trying to get his angle. Um, you know, these these two guys are just you know just kind of standing in front of each other. But it seems like Smith is just being busier. And if and Joe Smith can can do this and rack up rounds, it's going to be hard for Dimitri Bivol to kind of get out of it. Mainly because it's um, it's uh, it's it's just it's 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 difficult. To uh, you know, once you're once you're behind, and um, also, I know I could have said that better. Um, as difficult as difficult as it is, um, you you have you know a fighter in Joe Smith who I think has a pretty good chin, even though he does have one loss on his on his ledger. He would he was I'm, I'm sorry he has two two losses. He has a loss to um, Sullivan Barrera in real life. Um, and he rebounded from that by um, KOing Melvin Russell in one round. But he has a fourth round TKO loss. And it was a scheduled six round by fight to Eddie Cam and Caminero. Apparently Caminero hit him. He really hurt his jaw or something. And Smith just turned his back. It's Joe Smith, if he knows him, super duper tough guy. Uh, it doesn't seem like him. So something must have been up. Either way, let's see what happened after, after this first round. Um... Dimitri Bivol losing that first round to Joe Smith, just like I thought. And I'm saying he started slow against Sullivan Barrera when we did it on this. And all the judges are giving that round to Dimitri Bivol. 10-9, 10-9, 10-9 to Joe Smith. No, I'm sorry. All the judges gave that round to Joe Smith. 10-9, 10-9, 10-9. Sorry. Oh, wow. Dimitri Bivol gets cracked by Joe Smith. Oh, man. That was a hard shot. Bivol didn't seem like he was expecting that. Bivol seems to be having it. Oh, and he gets up. Wow. Joe Smith coming out and, and, and just cracking Dimitri Bivol. Wow. Oh, man. That, that, we're seeing some fireworks here. That was a hard shot. And you saw the way it took Bivol a little bit of time to get up. He did very smartly. Didn't just rise up. He collected himself. Man, Joe Smith. Wow. 
That's that that was really, really, really super duper impressive. And we'll see if Joe Smith can continue it. But but now D Dimitri Bivol wants to wants to, you know, he wants to go. He wants to like, hey, let's trade and let's see what happens. Um so yeah, very, very interesting. But who knows, maybe that gave Joe Smith the momentum that he needs. Now he has a round and he has a knockdown in the bank. He's uh, you know, you know, slowly but surely running the numbers on Dimitri Bivol. But Bivol, like I say, is a Highly technical, highly skilled fighter, and I'm sure that he'll find a way, you know, to uh, you know to at least even this up a little bit. Um, you look at the the record of Joe Smith; he really came into prominence with a first round knockout over Andre Fonfara. Knocked him out in the first round. That was back in 2016, and then. He uh, fought Bernard Hopkins, not, ended Hopkins' career, knocked him out of the ring. It was Hopkins' last fight anyway. And that's a really tough assignment to give Bernard Hopkins. I mean, but, you know, you, know, you think, oh, give him, give him, give him, give him an easy fight. But, you know, that's just not who Hopkins was. You know, you just, you just wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't do that. You know, and those are probably the biggest names on Dimitri, uh, on uh, Joe Smith Jr.'s record. Um, if, we, if we go back... We'll see, you know, Dimitri Bivol beating the likes of Jean Pascal, Isaac Chalemba, Sullivan Pereira. Um, and something that I should tell you is that yours, yours truly did um, his, his uh, I actually called the action. You, you can find it on YouTube because, because we have it posted. Um, his uh, victories over Clinton Consacao which was a fourth round KO, and Jackson Jr., which was another fourth round KO. Those were the fifth and sixth fights of his career. Um, I am the also, in addition to doing this and some other stuff, I am the broadcaster for Fight Club OC. Um, I am the play-by, play-by-play. And, um, yeah, it, 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 um, you know, Dimitri Bivol was brought in, and right away you looked at him and you knew, okay, this guy is a cut above... Most most fighters, and so right now, you know, Joe Smith Jr. seems to have neutralized him, especially with that with that knockdown. Let's let's see what the judges say after that after that second round. Which wow, Joe Smith Jr. cracked him 10-8. They give Joe Smith Jr. at 10-8. Another judge gives it to him 10-8, and another judge gives it to him 10-8. So Dimitri Bivol finding himself in a hole against a, a against a rock hard rock iron Joe Joe Smith once again. Um, we are in the third round. You're watching Dimitri Bivol take on Joe Smith. Dimitri Bivol on the left side of the screen. Joe, Biv um, Joe Smith on the right. My name is Evan Jacobs, and you are watching Boxing Time TV. You can follow and find me. Follow me on um, Boxing Time with Evan on Instagram. That is my that is my handle. If you like what you're seeing, please like. I, I like it when you comment. Please subscribe. Please let me know fights you want to see me make. Um, I, I'm trying to do two to three of these a month. I used to do more bouts, but it was, it was, it was just a little bit difficult keeping up with it. So I stopped doing it and I realized, you know what? I really enjoy this. So I do, um, I, 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 I do the big fights. I do the fights where there's a lot of interest, but then, you know, once I get those out of the way, you know, we, we get a fight like this. Dimitri Bivol and Joe Smith are not the biggest fighters in boxing. So, you know, after this, I plan on doing um, Joseph Parker versus Derek Chisora, and then, um, and then uh, Jarrett, ha Jarrett Hurd versus Julian J. Rock Williams. And, you know, we'll, we'll be getting those up. And, then, you know, it just depends. I sort of, you know, keep, a, keep kind of a tally. And right now, you know, Joe Smith is coming out. He's going. He's going to the body. He's landing the shots that he needs to land. And he's forcing Dimitri Bivol to fight very, very defensively. And that is that is going to cost Bill all because right now Joe Smith is winning these is winning these rounds. I was just really impressed by how hard he cracked him. Man, Bivol, Bivol went down hard. That's the thing about Joe 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 Smith. When he really lets his hands go and he can connect, oh wow. Wow, 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 wow. Step sit back and get ready for the power show. And but but Bivol's I mean, Bivol's kind of taking a more of a counterpunching stance. Truthfully. I think Bivol will probably get a hard-fought decision over Joe Smith when they really fight. But it's interesting to see this um, uh, sim simulation. It's you know it's it, it's 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 you know just to sit back and watch and see what technical things is Dimitri Bivol maybe doing on the inside right now to maybe make things a little bit harder for Joe Smith because Dimitri Bivol isn't giving up. He's letting his hands go. He's just not letting them go enough.
Oh man, he's, oh, just two left hands cracking Dimitri Bivol with it. Joe Smith is just, just fighting a real controlled fight. And that's the thing, we're going to be, you know, this is going to get us into the fourth round. Joe Smith is going to be four or five, maybe six rounds up in a little bit. And then, and then it's going to really be incumbent upon Dimitri Bivol to figure something out here. Because he's not being blown out, but he is being taken out of this fight. All right, let's see what the judges say. They're saying that Bivol's obviously tired. And they're giving that round to Joe Smith. One of them makes it even. Another one, they give it to Joe Smith. So, all right, we're coming into the fourth round. Three rounds down here on Boxing Time TV. We're here on a Saturday night just just, just getting this podcast, podcast done. And, um, man, Joe Smith, oh, he's going to the body. He's doing all the right things to set the table. But man, he oh, and but 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 look at Dimitri Bivol trying to trying to stay in this cracking, cracking, cracking back, and and Joe Smith landing to the head and landing to the body, and I and I think that that, that, the, that the knockdown really really affected Dimitri Bivol in the second round. I don't you know looking at his career, I, I don't know if he's ever been dropped. I mean, so you know coming back from that, getting getting you know a lot of fighters say once they get knocked knocked down. Oh, I didn't know where I was until the eighth round and stuff like that. And so that's, you know, that, that is, you know, a knockdown can be devastating. I remember talking, um, not talking to, but reading about Floyd Patterson when he fought Sonny Liston. He said the first two times he was dropped, when he got up, he thought he dropped Liston. He was so discombobulated. They are now just, you know, and, and, and this is what I'm afraid of. And I'm just going to say this right, right, right now. Something, some, oh, wow, and Joe Smith Jr. cracks him again. And, man, he hurts Dimitri Bivol, and it doesn't look like Bivol is going to gonna get up. Wow. What I was going to say was, I'll say it, oh, wow, Joe Smith knocks out Dimitri Bivol in the fourth round. What a fight. Joe Smith came to fight tonight, and he showed it, and he cracked Dimitri Bivol. Wow, um, what, what I, what I, what I, oh, here, hold on one second. The winner is Joe Smith Jr. by a knockout. The fight lasted four rounds. Bivol was knocked down two times. Junior, uh, Joe Smith was only knocked down once. And it was all Joe Smith, as you can see, 30-26, 30-27, and 30-26. Once again, my name is Evan Jacobs. Thank you so much for tuning in to Boxing Time TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please tell your friends about this. Please, you know, if there's fights that you want to see, if there's fights that you want me to make, if, they, if you know, I'll, I'll do my best to make them. Please comment. Please ring the bell. Turn it on. And, and do not miss a moment of Boxing Time TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Boxing Time TV, where our motto is, why wait, watch it now, and then watch the real thing and compare. See you next time.